Senator Rand Paul of Kentucky, who is demanding his party make public a secret draft of the current Obamacare replacement bill. Senator, we're going to get to that topic in just a minute, but I want to begin with the subject of Russia. And I just want to ask you up front, do you trust Republicans to investigate a Republican president, the leader of his party, something that affects not just him, but members of his cabinet? Or would you think the more appropriate thing would be to have a special prosecutor? Well, you know, I think law enforcement is probably the most appropriate uh, first venue. FBI usually investigates if people have broken the law. So I think I would start there. And uh, I still haven't been actually informed exactly what laws have been broken. But if laws have been broken, I'd start not with a political investigation. I'd probably start with the FBI. Would that include DOJ? Well, you know, the FBI investigates, and then I think the way it works, you know, I'm not a, an attorney, but I think the way it works is they present the evidence either to a grand jury or sometimes to the Department of Justice, and then the Department of Justice decides. But you didn't seem to trust the Department of Justice last summer when they were looking into Hillary Clinton's emails. In fact, you tweeted a couple of times, today Comey and Obama's DOJ made it clear to the American people there's no accountability, no justice, and the Clintons live by different rules. You also tweeted on July 5th, this is a loss for the rule of law and further degrades America's faith in the justice system. So I guess based on those comments, I wonder if you feel the same way now. If you didn't trust a Democratic-led right. DOJ back then, can you trust a Republican DOJ now that the president is Republican or the people who are they're looking at are Republicans? Well, you know, I think they're not exactly the same situation and maybe not at all the same situation. So, for example, we had uh, four of our security forces die in Benghazi and we were investigating something, I think, of great significance. There was also an investigation of whether or not uh, Hillary Clinton had allowed uh, top secret emails to be sent in an inappropriate manner. I think that's a little different than saying a U.S. senator one time spoke to a, an ambassador from another country. You know, I think we've had a little problem on both sides of the aisle here, sort of misremembering whether you met with the Russian ambassador. One of the Democrats this week tweeted out she had never met with the Russian ambassador in 10 years, and she was very certain of herself until someone showed her her Twitter feed, and it turns out she had. So I think uh, we have to decide, you know, before you take big, big steps, let's take some small steps and determine whether any laws have been broken. For some people, the small steps started with the statements that were made repeatedly by members of this administration and the president himself, saying unequivocally that nobody Nobody in that inner circle had ever spoken to any of the Russians when clearly they had, not only had they, but in at least one case, it had happened right at Trump Tower. Yeah, I'm not really aware of all, you know, the details of who spoke to whom when. I, I haven't really been a part of that. The but only don't thing you I think know, that's the critical thing... to getting to where, whether or not well, something went on that was not right? You know, a lot of people have made as if there is some great thing that has either been against the law or to be found. I have yet to be made aware of that. If someone makes me aware of the laws that have been broken, then I think really law enforcement ought to be involved. But I, I get more the sense of a political sort of witch hunt in this sense, and still people very, very unhappy with the election, you know, immediately calling for the resignation of everybody they can point their fingers at. I just think that there is a political aspect to this, and the better way to keep politics out of it is probably to let law enforcement look at it. But is the better way to have someone who is independent, who's outside of politics do it? I want to play, if I can, Senator, what you told Fox News think... Radio about Republicans investigating their own. Let's take a listen. This was after, by the way, Mike Flynn's I just don't fight. think it's useful to be doing investigation after investigation, particularly of your own party. We'll never even get started with doing the things we need to do, like repealing Obamacare, if we're spending our whole time having Republicans investigate Republicans. I, I think it makes no sense. So for people who are concerned about this, if you're going to put it to rest, serious questions have been raised by serious people. Well, I think Should there be it, someone I on think, the outside of I the political you, system? I think you have to put in context, you know, the quote you just played. I was asked about John McCain investigating Trump, and I think there's bad blood between the two, and I think that's not necessarily the best venue. So while Democrats can politicize investigations, so can Republicans. And the point I was trying to make that I think was lost on some people is that maybe law enforcement ought to do this if there is a uh, someone that has broken the law. And I think the FBI is the best venue for that. That's also 
uh, you know, what occurred under the Clinton investigation. No investigation is perfect. It's very hard to keep uh, politics out. You know, there was the appearance of impropriety when President Obama's Attorney General Loretta Lynch met with Bill Clinton while his wife was being investigated. So there are, there are potential pitfalls in having the government investigate the government. But I think the least political probably of all of those is the FBI. I want to uh, turn to Obamacare.